Hi, welcome to this ArcGIS tutorial on how to calculate the geometry of shape files. For this tutorial, I have selected an area in Singapore, and through this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the geometries by answering these four simple questions. How to calculate the area of this lake, and how to calculate the perimeter of this lake, and how to calculate the length of this road which starts from point A up to point B, and finally, how to obtain the XY coordinates of the midpoint of the road. We are going to perform all these calculations using ArcGIS. So let's get started. Now as you can see here, I have zoomed into one part of Singapore. And I have digitized this, uh, both of these components by myself. So if you are interested in knowing how to digitize components uh, using a background map, I will link the tutorial down below. I have digitized these two components using a base map and let's first of all calculate the area of this lake over here so as you can see this is the shape file which is corresponding to the lake so what I'm going to do is first right click over here and go to attributes table and have a look at the attributes now here we can see that uh, there are three columns the first column corresponds to the field ID second one to the shape and the third one to the ID so since we do not have any space to calculate area over here the very first thing that we need to do is actually we need to uh, create a dedicated column to calculate the area now to do that table options and select add field and i'm going to name this sas area and now in selecting the type of data you have to be a bit more careful uh, if you want your numbers to be just in integers, you can either go for short integer or long integer. But in my case, I, I would like to have a, a quite a precise value for my area, which contains decimal points as well. So in that case, I'm going to go with a double. And press OK. Next, you can go to this column and right click and go to calculate geometry. Press yes. Now one of the most important things that you have to be careful at this stage is to check whether you have correctly defined your coordinate system or not. Now in this case, since I have selected an area in Singapore, I have selected the, the corresponding projected coordinate system which is uh, WGS 1984, UTM zone 47 north. Next let's check out the property. Now we have uh, the option to calculate different properties over here but uh, since we are trying to find the answer for our very first question which is uh, which is calculating the area of the of the lake I'm going to go with area over here and the units you can select uh, square meters from here and press OK and yes all right now you can see that we already calculated our area in square meters so the second question was what was the perimeter uh, what was the perimeter of the lake in meters so i'm going to create another column called perimeter so i will go to add field and this one i'll name as perimeter and uh, just to be different i'm going to leave this uh, in the form of an integer so i'm going to select a long integer and press ok so now I will right click on this one and go to field calculate uh, calculate geometry and yes now here as the property I'm going to select perimeter instead of area and the units I'm, I'm going to keep it in meters okay all right as we can see we already have the perimeter as well in meters All right, let's move into our third question. That was to calculate the distance of this road starting from point A up to point B. So now I'm going to select the, the, the road shape file. I'm going to right click on it and open the attributes table. And similar to the previous step, I'm going to create a new column called uh, length. And I'm going to keep it as a short integer and I will go here 
and go to uh, calculate geometry and again make sure that we have defined the, the, the correct coordinate system for this and as the property I'm going to select length unit I'm going to keep it in meters all right as you can see the road starting from point A all the way up to point B is 4927 meters long now the final question was what are the coordinates of the midpoint of this road so the midpoint of this road uh, just roughly I could say that it should be somewhere over here but uh, since we want to be precise I'm going to create two more columns for the X coordinate and for the Y coordinate so let's go to the table options and go to add field this one I'm going to name as X chord and I will keep it as a double and I will create another column as Y chord Now I'll select the X code column, right click on it, go to calculate geometry and over here in the property I will select the X coordinate of the midpoint and my units I need it in decimal degrees. Press OK, yes and I'm going to do the same thing with the Y coordinate. In decimal degrees yes so that's it for this tutorial I hope you liked it if you did you can hit thumbs up and if you would like to see more tutorials on ArcGIS and Python programming you can subscribe as well thank you and have a good day